3 a.m. Once the clock strikes 3 a.m., I feel like you've given up on trying to sleep. At this point, you're going to commit to whatever you decide to do until the sun comes up. Whether you're studying for tomorrow's math test, chilling on Discord with the boys, choking the chicken, or simply sulking in those 3 a.m. thoughts, you'll pretty much find yourself doing anything but sleeping. And I don't know if it's just me, but those 3 a.m. thoughts hit different. And honestly, it's just the perfect time to go for a walk, find a nice little view, maybe light up a joint, and just think. The, the youngest picture of you is the oldest picture of you. Hmm. Does Lightning McQueen cop car insurance or life insurance? Wait, wait, wait. Did the brain name itself? Hold up. What if soy milk is just regular milk introducing itself in Spanish? I have no clue if this is just me, but every once in a while when I'm laying in my bed at 3 a.m., I suddenly get the motivation to become the best person on the planet. Like, I set an alarm for 5 a.m., I tell myself I'm gonna go work out, then go for a run, then meditate, then drink kale smoothies, then become a millionaire, then donate it all to a family in need. But as soon as my alarm goes off, I'm just like, shit, I'm too tired for all that. Then I just end up sleeping until 1 p.m. And my brain is constantly playing games with me, bro. Like, tell me why I'll be using all my strength to stay awake during the day thinking, Ugh. man, I can't wait to go to sleep tonight. But when it comes time to sleep, I, I, I just can't. I'll be left lying there at 5 a.m. awake as hell, watching these random motherfuckers build a two-story house with a hot tub in the jungle. And you know what? Being awake at 3 a.m. is kind of like being high a little bit. Because you start to think about things you don't usually think about. And because you get hit with the fucking munchies, bro. I'll be whipping up a three-course meal with appetizers and a complimentary dessert to watch a YouTube video. And listen, I can't explain why, but there is no better water than water at 3 a.m. I mean, it's pretty much a part of my sleep schedule now to wake up at 3 chug some water, take a piss, then go back to bed. But sometimes while I'm trying to go back to sleep, my brain just starts showing me a compilation of my top 15 cringiest moments. I mean, I'm having flashbacks to the time in grade 5 when I said a joke and nobody laughed. Guys, guys, why did the monkey fall out of the tree? Why? <laughs> why, why? Because it was dead. Oh, damn. Or I'll be up all night thinking about that one debate I had three years ago. Brainstorming about the best things I could have said in each scenario. It's like if I do some cringe shit during the day, I have no choice but to lose some sleep over it at night. It's like my punishment for saying some stupid shit. Like, like I know one guy who accidentally called his teacher mommy in front of the entire class. And that dude hasn't slept since.